Hello, this reading is for those who just recently broke up or had a fallout with your partner. I'll do three spreads. The situation spread, who you're dealing with, who left who, etc. The advice spread, is it worth your time to reconcile with this ex? And the new love in the near future spread. Do you have anybody new coming towards you, hopefully better suited for you than your ex? Please like my videos if they resonate and subscribe to my channel. Let's begin. Hi Leo, here's the situation. We have the Seven of Cups clarified by the Five of Swords. We have uh, the Four of Pentacles, then we have the World, and we have the Six of Wands on the bottom of the deck. I can interpret this spread a couple of different ways. Um, scenario number one is one of you really wanted this relationship to go forward, really uh, was looking forward to it. They were really um, happy, had some thoughts about the way this relationship was going to move forward. That's what the six of ones on the bottom of the deck I believe is about. This is somebody who is uh, really um, optimistic about this connection, but the other person, and I don't know if that was you or the person you're dealing with, was um, holding back uh, with the seven of uh, cups right there, the first card that came out. This is a card of a confusion, this is a card of, oh I don't know, uh, this is a card of, um, let me think about it, is there something there for me, right? So the Four of Pentacles, the next card over is somebody who is holding back, not opening up emotionally, not wanting to do much together, right? And uh, then that caused the world and the Five of Swords energy. The world is the uh, card of an end, and the Five of Swords, I think, Think this is just somebody who was like you know what I'm I'm done I'm walking away <laughs> right because uh, they couldn't wait anymore or they couldn't just deal with uh, somebody who is closed off or somebody who is uh, so um, inactive or somebody was taking too long and like I said it could have been you or it could have been them another scenario I see here is that um, either you or the person you're dealing with and I'm being very straightforward here because this spread could go either way. So somebody was having a lot of options or somebody was keeping their options open or somebody did want to make this relationship exclusive. That's what I think the Seven of Cups could represent. Seven of Cups could be on multiple options, right? So you could have found out about what this person was up to, perhaps you saw them seeing somebody else or you saw a text message pop up on their phone, something like that. And then you closed off and uh, you walked away. <laughs> the world card is a card of an ending and the five of swords is somebody who is walking away. And the six of ones in this case is uh, you felt like, you know what, it's not my problem, this is your loss because you don't know what you've lost. Alright, so that's what I have for you so far. It's, I think, either one of those two scenarios. Alright, so here's the advice spread for you, Leo. This is from your perspective. This is what you need to do. Or at least that was my intentions for this spread. Anyway, we have the Eight of Cups. We have the Tower. We have uh, the Page of Wands clarified by the Ace of Swords and the Four of Wands. And we have the Two of Cups on the bottom of the deck. So I think this person is going to come back because they will either make up their mind at long last, perhaps you leaving them, you dropping this connection was a kick in their butt, <laughs> or they've realized uh, what you lost, what they've lost, right? Um, so the Eight of Cups, the first card on the left, this is, I think, them coming back around. The Tower is uh, either uh, them coming back unexpectedly, or they've realized that uh, the, how good they had it with you or what kind of a person you are, a very caring person, the right person for them basically, right? So the tower could have been what happened in the past and this is their realization that uh, they made a huge mistake by either not walk, not opening up to you or by talking to other people. And uh, here they come with the page of ones, the page of ones is communication. And it's clarified by the Ace of Swords and the Four of Wands. The Ace of Swords could be some kind of a truth coming out. Perhaps they will have uh, something to say about what was actually going on. Or the Ace of Swords could be them being very direct and upfront with you and telling you what, they, what they're ready for, what they really want 
with you and what they want is the four of wands the four of wands is uh, one of the uh, marriage cards this is a committed relationship card some people call the four of wands the 11 11 card right so this is what they want with you they have finally um, got the uh, they finally got the message <laughs> they finally got the memo they finally realized that you're the one for them and uh, I really like the Tea of Cups on the bottom of the deck the Tea of Cups is one of the best cards when it comes to love period this is soulmate love unconditional love to me personally when I see the Tea of Cups that means the two people involved are on the same page and uh, the feelings are mutual so yeah this person is getting on the same page with you at long last right Leo so um, so the advice here is for the two of you to uh, move forward together because I don't really see any rejection cards all I see is them um, starting to run around uh, screaming out oh, the 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 roof is falling or something like that them this they're like in a panic mode for a little while <laughs> And uh, then they will come to their senses and they will reach out to you. All right, so that's what I got for you. All right, Leo, so here's the third spread. The third spread was supposed to be about uh, a new person coming uh, towards you in the month of December. But I think we're still talking about the same person we saw in the previous two spreads. And uh, this is a different deck of cards. So the message is really, really strong. You could be um, dealing with... Um, a cancer so we have the nine of swords we have the six of cups clarified by the two of cups we have the three of pentacles then we have the chariot clarified by the ten of cups and the eight of pentacles and we have the ace of swords on the bottom of the deck so yeah this is uh, this person coming back from the past and uh, the first card I came out is the nine of swords this is a card of somebody who at some point in the middle of the night wakes up they sit back up and they say what have I done <laughs> um, so yeah and uh, then we have the six of cups the six of cups is uh, somebody coming back from the past and uh, another interpretation of the six of cups is the soulmate card and uh, I decided to clarify it you know, hopefully to get a court card but instead I got a, a two of cups and the first thing that came out of my mouth was uh <laughs> so cute one soulmate card clarifying the other soulmate card I really like it I really do anyway then the next card is the three of pentacles the three of pentacles is uh, building something from the ground up um, and making sure that the uh, foundation is solid so this person coming back around they have uh, set their eye on you and they are ready to um, get involved 100 percent they're looking to settle down with you they're looking to establish this very grounded and solid uh, relationship with you we also have the ace of swords on the bottom of the deck uh, it could be some kind of a truth coming out or the ace of swords is a brand new beginning and uh, then we also have the chariot clarified by the ten of cups and the eight of pentacles those three cards are the outcome. I specifically asked what the outcome is going to be and those three cards came out. So the chariot could be a cancer you're dealing with or the chariot is uh, the energy of this relationship moving forward really really quickly. The chariot could also be them literally driving over or coming over to uh, tell you that they are in love with you and they made a mistake <laughs> and uh, then we have the ten of cups. The ten of cups is one of the best cards when it comes to um, relationships or even marriages uh, the ten of cups is often called um, happiness after hardship right and then we also have the eight of pentacles clarifying the chariot and the ten of cups the eight of pentacles is a card of working on something so they will be working on it putting in a lot of effort and uh, making sure that this connection lasts through years to come alright so that's what I got for you Leo, don't forget to watch your weekly and your monthly videos on my channel. And other than that, have a fantastic month. And there you have it. I hope my readings resonated with you. And if they did, I hope they make your lives better in one way or the other. Please share and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Thank you for watching.